What's going on everybody, KG here. Today we're going to be looking at Samsung's 2024 premium TV lineup. We're going to take a look at all of the TVs available on the screen. I'm going to go from lowest to highest in terms of pricing and that's the way we're going to structure this video. Most of the TVs I'm talking about today will be available to order right now and if you guys are ordering any of these TVs, I will have the links for these TVs directly in the description below. If you guys are ordering these TVs, it does benefit the channel. So thank you guys so much for your support. Now let's start it off by talking about the frame. It has the slim fit wall mount included with it. It has four HDMI 2.1 ports with two USB 2.0. It has a 40 watt 2.0.2 Dolby Atmos audio system, and it has the anti-reflective matte display. You get the one invisible connection with this TV and it is Pantone validated. So if you guys are curious, like what does all this mean? I'm reading a lot of this off of the spec sheet. So this is all pulled directly from the spec sheet. If you guys have direct questions on what any of this stuff means, put it in the comments below and I'll answer your questions there to the best of my ability. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Let's look at the prices for this TV. $9.99 for the 43 inch, 50 inch, $12.99, 55 inch, $14.99, 65 inch 1999 and the 75 inch is 29.99 now for my opinion on the frame i think it's not for everybody the value definitely seems off for the backlight technology that said if you end up buying this tv it's not a bad tv by any means so if you are getting it for the design you're still getting a very capable tv all right we'll move on to the qn 85d we're looking at the NQ4 AI Gen 2 processor for this one. It has auto HDR remastering, which is going to be in the settings options. We have four HDMI 2.1 ports on this TV, two USB 2.0 connections, and 40 watt 2.2 Dolby Atmos audio. And it is 120 hertz with a max resolution of 4K. The prices for this TV will be 55 inch, 1399, 65 inch, 1899, 75 inch, 2599. 85 inch 36.99 all right so now for my opinion on the qn 85d i think it's a solid entry into the premium mini led tv category it's pretty much like the little brother to the qn 90d they are going to be really close so if you're okay with giving up some brightness i think you'll like the qn 85 series overall Staying with the Neo QLEDs, we're going to the QN90D Neo QLED 4K. This is also using the same NQ AI Gen 2 processor. This time it states that it has expert calibration. This also has the auto HDR remastering, four HDMI 2.1 ports, two USB 2.0 connections, and a 60 watt 4.2.2 Dolby Atmos audio. The backlight technology in this TV is mini LED with a max refresh rate of 144 hertz, but of course you do need a capable PC to achieve this. Prices for the QN90D will be 43 inch, 14.99, 50 inch, 15.99, 55 inch, 19.99, 65 inch, 26.99, 75 inches 32.99, 85 inches 47.99, and the gigantic 98 inch TV is $14,999. So my opinion on the QN90D is that the 90 series has been trading blows for years with some of the most premium TVs, and they also have some of the best contrast of any LED TV. Moving on to the S90D OLED, this is using an NQ4 AI Gen 2 processor, OLED HDR+, plus, four HDMI 2.1 ports, two USB 2.0 connections, 40 watt 2.1 Dolby Atmos audio, and it is Pantone validated. We're looking at 144 hertz for our max refresh rate with the max resolution of 4K. So as far as the pricing goes, the 55 inch QD OLED is going to be $19.99. The 65 inch QD OLED is going to be $26.99. Now I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering where are the other sizes. As of right now, there is only the 55 inch and 65 inch available on pre-order day. So I don't know if this is going to come later in the day or later in the week, but we do know that other sizes are probably coming because we saw them at CES. I think it was like this as well with the S90C last year, so it's nothing to freak out about in my opinion. This is something that does kind of happen every year. Also, depending on what size you get, your TV is going to be different. I'm going to definitely explain this in an upcoming video on the S90D, so you're definitely going to want to stay tuned if you want to know the differences with the S90D for every size. So my opinion on the S90D is I think that Samsung created a value monster last year with the S90 series. To be able to get superior OLED TV technology at a price point like this is an absolute treat. And I haven't found too many people who don't like the S90 series. 
It always seems to be the best bang for your buck when you compare it to any other TV on the market. All right, moving on to the S95D, we have the NQ4 AI Gen 2 processor, OLED HDR Pro, OLED glare free, expert calibration, one connect box, four HDMI 2.1 ports, two USB 2.0 connections, and 70 watt 4.2.2 Dolby Atmos audio. This TV is also Pantone validated. You'll see a max refresh rate of 144 hertz on this TV. So let's see how much these QD OLEDs will cost. 55 inch is $25.99, 65 inch is $33.99, 77 inch is $45.99. All right, so my opinion on the S95D is that when I was at CES, I thought that the new OLED glare free change that they made was going to be a solution for many households where you have light and reflections becoming a huge problem for them with their TVs. But I also think this coating is not going to be for everybody. Going from there, we get to the QN800D Neo QLED AK. It has a NQ8 AI Gen 2 processor, AI motion enhancer, auto HDR remastering, four HDMI 2.1 ports, three USB-A and one USB-C connection, Wi-Fi 6E, 70 watt, 4.2.2 Dolby Atmos audio, and the One Connect. The max refresh rate for this TV is going to be 4K at 165 hertz and 8K at 60 hertz. Of course, you are going to need a capable PC to achieve 4K 165 hertz. The prices are going to be 65 inch 34.99, 75 inch is 44.99, 85 inch is $59.99. My opinion on the QN800D is that it offers a lot of premium features and it gets you into 8K at an earlier price point. But 8K isn't for everybody. The premium is just harder to justify over a 4K TV at the moment. But AI technology and upscaling is getting so much better with 8K. Let's go up to the QN900D Neo QLED 8K. This has the latest NQ8 AI Gen 3 processor, AI motion enhancer, auto HDR remastering, four HDMI 2.1 ports, three USB-A and one USB-C connection, Wi-Fi 6E, one connect, and it has the infinite air design. The backlight technology will once again be mini LED. We have a max refresh rate of 4K at 240 hertz and 8K is at 60 hertz. Of course, you are going to need a capable PC to be able to game at 4K 240 hertz, so please keep that in mind. The prices are 65 inch, 49.99, 75 inch, 62.99, 85 inch, 79.99. Now my opinion on the QN900D is that it's not just gonna be for people who want an 8K TV since it supports 4K 240 hertz gaming. I really think this is a huge deal and I am a big fan of this infinite air design as well. I saw it revealed at CES and I couldn't help but think that it almost looks like it's floating right in front of you. And from a design perspective, I thought it was really cool. So what do you think of the Samsung 2024 lineup? Is there a TV there that you want to pick up? And if you are picking up a TV, which size are you getting? Let me know in the comments. I will have individual videos on a lot of these TVs that you see right here. So stay tuned because in the next couple of days, we're going to get a lot of content on this channel. You're not going to want to miss that. So be sure to subscribe if you do not want to miss that content. If you guys want to keep watching more videos, check out this video right here. I think you're going to like it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.